see me? Yeah, Walter. We're out here in Chicago. Uh -huh. I walked by. You got your sign. God is good. God is good. My you got Bible. your Bible. And tell me about reading your Bible, what you just said to me. Well, reading my Bible is uh, not only a means for, for receiving uh, the Word of God, but, you know, being poor and being needy, I often look into people's eyes. And sometimes I look into their eyes and I'm concerned about the fact that why do they they not have any concern? So rather than look and receive that, and then it's the problem of looking in people's eyes and seeing hate. And and uh, also it's, it's a, also looking into people's eyes is also the problem of people looking at me and, and, and as if um, I was scum or something. So rather than to receive that through my eyes, which are the windows of the soul, I tend to bow my eyes into my Bible and receive the word from God. Christ said that why do you worry about what you're going to eat, where you're going to sleep, and what you're going to drink? He says, seek the kingdom of God and his, and his wisdom first. So by casting my eyes to the Bible, I'm, I'm, it's my way of avoiding looking in other people's eyes who have no concern or love for me because I'm poor, homeless, and needy. I mean, people pass me like so much driftwood, and that's all I see. Um, you, you told me, what's it like out here? What, what, how do people react to you being here? You just told me somebody kicked you in the head. Uh, so what, what is it like being homeless and having people cause despair? Uh, I've had people spit on me, throw urine on me. I've had people kick me in the head. I was shot at once on uh, Wabash and Lake. Um, the despairing uh, poverty that exists uh, allows us to be vulnerable to those who have hatred in them. You know, we're people say that the uh, most vulnerable. Uh, you guys like some Indian food? Yes, 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 food. yes. I'm starving. That's good stuff. Thank you. God bless you. In life, I found we always that, get the leftovers. Well, you know, I don't mind the leftovers because I eat out the garbage can when people don't help me. Right. You know, I have. Uh, I know, I know. I mean, it's just. I uh, I um, see. I see people that are well off and better than me. You know, I can't hold that against them. It's my unfortunate uh, situation that I find myself here. Right. And I blame no one for that. Um, what I do find is that by keeping my faith in God and uh, trying to uh, always remind others of God that I have a purpose. And as long as, even if you're homeless and you have nothing, if you have a purpose, you have all that you need. And if your purpose is God, you may not have much in this life, but come the next life, you'll find yourself with a great reward. At least, that's what I believe. Um, if you had three wishes, what would they be? That everyone turn to God, that God, uh, that I'm definitely forgiven for all my sins, and that I find my way into heaven. Thank you very much for talking to me. No problem. And remember, my name is Walter Thomas, the farmer who sows the good seed. God is first and always. Bye.